Hey guys, Steve here from Scyther Tech, and of course we're bringing you a new product today. It is the Fold Module. Half of the Fold Module is a ring modulator, and the other half is a wave folder that's really powerful. And this thing allows you to have a crazy amount of interesting harmonics and timbres coming out of it. So let's check it out. The Fold Module, like I said here, on one half is a ring modulator that takes two audio signals, combines them, and creates a ring modulated signal. Over here, the rest of the controls, actually all the pots and the switch here and these other three jacks, all affect the wave folder. The wave folder allows you to take the waveform of your choice, bring it in here and fold it. And so we'll see exactly what that looks like, but there's a level control which brings up the gain or the amplitude of the, of the signal, which allows it to fold. And then when you get above the folds, it also clips. The mix function here allows you to take your dry waveform and mix it in with your wave folded waveform. And the amount of taps over here or stages of folding can be selected here by choice. Well, there's a lot you can do with this. You can combine it with the ring modulated output or just bring in any waveform that you'd like and mangle and adjust and fold and ring modulate that audio. So let's check it out here on the scope. If I have my mix all the way down, you'll see my MST, really nice clean sine wave here. And that's what we're starting off with. And as I bring the mix up, it goes away because my level pot is all the way down. So as I start bringing up my level pot, you can see that I start folding my signal here, which increases the amount of harmonics, which just makes it really, really interesting. So as I bring up the level here, I can just mess with the signal to kind of get a timbre that I like doesn't really matter too much. You don't have to put it on a scope like I'm doing. But if you want to make it a symmetrical uh, fold, what you'd want to do is bring up your signal a little bit here to get those two little peaks kind of coming down here. And then adjust your offset and kind of get those so they're kind of symmetrical. And then as you fold, they'll stay symmetrical. As you can see here on the module, there is this switch here. It's a six, or excuse me, it's a five stage switch, but you can, you can choose between two, three, four, five, or six stages of folding. So let's just check out what that looks like. Let's go back over to our oscilloscope and you can kind of see, let's bring up our level here. Let's start with two. That's where we're at right now. And you can see those two little peaks besides the clipped waveform, and those are your folds. Let's go to three. And you can see now you've got three, four, four, bring up the level a little more and it'll fold again to four, bring it up to five, of course, and six. So as you can see, the wave folder changes the waveform and allows you to get some really interesting new timbres and harmonics out of that. So very cool to use. Let's now hear an audio demo of what the ring modulator sounds like. So let's go back over to the module, bring this Take the ring modular output right here, plug that in. Let's take a sine wave into one of the inputs and let's grab a, how about, how about a square wave out of another one of them. And then as you move around the pitch, you're gonna start to hear. That, that traditional ring modulated sound, bells, robots, electricity, all kinds of really cool things that that does. And there is no controls, like I said, on the fold front panel that affect that. It's just two waveforms, bring them in, and you will get that ring modulated effect. Um, what's kind of cool here is, as well as you can take the output of, you take the output of the ring modulator Let's patch it in to the input of the wave folder. And let's increase the level. Get some real interesting sounds there. And if we take our envelope, and plug that into the CD input of the level. 
see if we can get some other interesting stuff. Let's put some CV now into one of the oscillators. You get some real interesting sounds when you're taking the, the ring modulated sound and bringing it into the full. And really all I'm doing there is I'm just mixing in two audio signals into the ring modulator, taking the output of that and bringing it into the wave folder section of the module and you get a lot of really, of course, very, very interesting things. So if we want to just use, let's just say, you know, we don't want to get that crazy on there. We just want to basically take, let's just say a, uh, a sine wave out into our, into our wave folder. And then we also want to give ourselves a little bit of, uh, a little bit of control voltage over the BCO. Kind of hear how that sounds. So this is all wave folder right here. And of course, where we have our level set. And as you can see, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around with our envelope here. And depending on what our envelope's doing and the shape it is, it's going to be moving that level. And now, now the, um, the, the level pot here is connected to the CV input over level. And so if you have the level pot all the way down, zero to five volts will have the full range of the pot coming in on CV. But if you want to turn it up a little bit, it'll even go beyond that and then it'll even start to distort. The way that we have the CV input set up, it kind of acts BCA like on the level, so you can you can get some rhythmic more sounds. On this. So the full module is super useful to kind of beef up your oscillator sounds, add a whole lot of new depth, and uh, it just basically makes everything sound a little bit cooler. Um, combine that, of course, with the ring modulator, and you've got quite a timbre powerhouse. So check out the full, it's available now, PCB panel, kit and completed. And always remember that synthesis is for everybody of every musical taste and kind of person out there in the world, and nobody should stop you from making the kind of music you want to make. Go out there and make something cool. Thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> my